Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question. Can we use a stored stored procedure in OLEDB source? Uh, if yes, how we would map the parameters? So let's go to the SSMS and I have created a stored procedure for you guys. Let's take a look. So here I have a customer table that has some records in that and one of the column is called region code. Okay. And next part what I have done, I have created stored procedure. Uh, called dbo get customer and uh, the parameter is uh, region code and uh, then i have select query that returns me first name last name address from this table where region code is equal to the parameter in this case uh, once i have created this uh, store procedure and if i pass the region code it, it returns me the records according to the region so if i were pass as asia and execute it it returned me two records so those are duplicate records here in this table um, but we are just doing for demonstration doesn't really matter we can pass any value we can pass EU or NA if I pass NA then uh, we have also like two uh, but they're also duplicate records so just to show you this works let's run this one more time and that uh, this works so let's go to the SSDT or bids and then create our SSIS package. So very first thing as we have to use the uh, OLEDB source, so we have to have a data flow task because those transformations and sources are available in the data flow and now get the OLEDB source here. Now what we're going to do, we need to make a connection to the test database so we can use that store procedure. So click here. I have uh, created this connection manager before and that's why it is here if you don't want to use it delete it to create a new one you have to provide sql server name or instance name and the next part you have to select the database let's select the instance name and now we have database uh, test db test the connection looks good hit ok now here we have to select the sql command and we have to bring uh, this part here where we have execute and store procedure name paste it here and then uh, provide the question mark for each of the parameter if you have multiple parameters you will be uh, passing uh, multiple question marks uh, with the comma so i have only one so i'm passing only one and then you hit parameters and here what you need to do you you need to pass the name of uh, that parameter so here is we have region CD and next uh, how you are going to pass the value to this uh, parameter we can use the variable here we can create a new variable and we can call it uh, region code and this is user variable string type and uh, for now I want the value AS that's Asia hit OK and it is an input uh, type uh, variable um, hit OK. Now go to the columns uh, and columns will be mapped. We can come back to connection manager and uh, hit preview. So right now is uh, no value given for one or more required parameter. Let's see what it is talking about. So region code. That's fine. Lo this looks good. That's uh, all right. Uh, what we can do. Uh, we can move forward with this one and let's see if it uh, works otherwise we come back and try to fix it but I, I think so as long as it's showing the columns we are good even if it's not bringing the data for now we are fine with that so hit ok next part is uh, uh, our variable name is region code and I'm not sure why we selected uh, here the region code one that's what it's showing us so we should be selecting uh, region code instead of uh, region code one I was doing some testing that's that could be the reason um, it is uh, given us uh, the region code I am um, I have created uh, actually this package before uh, start making this video so that could be the reason uh, that variable is there so we can um, delete this one or use that one doesn't really matter now the next part is bring the multicast here and let's uh, connect our OLEDB source uh, to the multicast and uh, then put data viewer between that and run our SSIS package. So it should be reading uh, 
the data from that uh, table by using the store procedure uh, and uh, give us the records let's run it and as we can see that uh, we are getting uh, the data for region code Asia and there are two records and uh, that's my name and uh, if we want to pass a different value we can always go back to the uh, variable and we can pass the value whatever we like let's pass na and we should be getting christy in the output and there are two records there are also duplicate records so we have christy and the last name is smith and the test address so that's how you can go and uh, use uh, the store procedure in oladb source uh, and you have to go to the parameters and inside the parameters you have to define uh, write the parameters and then uh, uh, map to the variables uh, from where they will be reading the values and uh, here is the input uh, uh, or output uh, um, that's the direction of the parameter if you are uh, having input and output variables uh, par parameters you can define it here so in my case there this uh, one is the input variable uh, parameter so that's why I selected input thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys next in next video